Many of our clients in the marine industry have asked me how to calculate buoyancy within the SOLIDWORKS environment. SOLIDWORKS provides all the tools but doesn't have a specific buoyancy calculation. In this case, let's use the regular tools. To build an example, I created two-part assembly. The first part being a weight at the bottom of this float, and the top part being a more buoyant, lower density flotation device. I also created a second configuration where both densities were converted to water. The goal of calculating buoyancy is to first calculate where the water line is going to be. To do this, I'm going to take my first part and make note of the mass, take my second part and modify the volume until the mass is the same. With the masses approximately the same, we can now make note of both configurations and calculate the center of gravity of each one. To do this, we'll just use the regular evaluate tool and hit the mass properties. We'll notice a point being located at the center of gravity, and when changing to the other configuration, notice that the location has changed. To do further calculations, a macro can be written to add a point at both centers of gravity. The top one is the center of buoyancy, and the bottom one is the center of gravity of this assembly. I've added a dimension between them to get a sense of what that vector is like. I hope you enjoyed this quick tips and tricks session on calculating buoyancy within the solid environment.